$9.99. Those of you watching this video know what I'm talking about. It's the day that this puppy right here, the Sega Dreamcast, launched. This is basically going to be a video, just me giving my thoughts and opinions on the life of the Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> Look at the funk. Now, everyone has their different opinions on the Dreamcast. Some of us loved it, while most of us hated it. Me, personally, I love the Dreamcast, but I loved it from afar. I didn't actually get a Dreamcast until a couple years ago. I know it's sad, but it's true. There was plenty of reason for that, though. Basically, I was a Sony fangirl. I've said it before. Love myself some PlayStation. And I wasn't ha trying to have anyone the Dreamcast Sega comes stomping on Sony's territory. That is until my husband's cousin came home with um, a Dreamcast on September 9th, 1999. Now I sat there for hours watching him play Sonic Adventure. Couldn't believe it. It was amazing how, it, it, it was amazing guys. It looked awesome. I love Sonic from the Genesis and I, I couldn't believe that Sonic looked so good like just the environments and the the sense of speed that that entire game had it was awesome so um you know that was my first taste of of the Dreamcast then I went on to play other games like Crazy Taxi while I still never had a Dreamcast I would always go over to someone's house my friend's house that had Dreamcast and just play Crazy Taxi, Ready to Rumble, all of those games. But I do feel bad saying that I didn't get a Dreamcast till a couple years ago because when you really think about it, the Dreamcast set so many standards and was just an innovator. It all started with the console. For instance, this right here. This console went online. You know, I know it sounds crazy. Oh, pff, all consoles go online now, but this is awesome. You know, you could play Fantasy Star, even though I never played it, but you could play it over the internet. That's amazing. And at that time, that was pretty cool because the internet, I know, you know, it was really big. That dot com era, really big. Um, it also came with really cool peripherals. Like you had the Maracas for Samba de Amigo, you had the Sega Bass Fishing Rod thingy. There was just so much cool things that came with the Dreamcast. It was just like a different experience of gaming and um, you really had to be a fool and I guess I was to miss out on it. Another cool thing about the, the Dreamcast was definitely the controller. I know it looks basic, you know, pretty bland and it is uncomfortable, I will admit. It's a very uncomfortable controller, okay? But the cool thing about it, see how it's missing the slot right there? That's where the memory card, the memory unit fits in. Awesome. I remember these being so cool like this made me want to go out and buy a Dreamcast um, just because of how cool it was like you could play little mini games on here and just hook it into the Dreamcast and that was I just thought that was amazing you know and it came in all different colors I mean this was this was the, the fad back then <laughs> it's pretty cool it even has a little part where you can put a little keychain in and you wear it around your neck or on your wrist but yeah, awesome, innovative. Dreamcast was going places. So I'm going to share with you guys my Dreamcast collection. I know it's not big, but I'm going to show you what I got. Sonic Adventure, amazing platformer. Um, it, it was just awesome. So much speed, looked great. Shenmue, awesome adventure game. Um, this is another game that's loved and hated. I love it. Rayman 2, The Great Escape. I was so excited to play this game. Crazy Taxi. This used to be my love. Oh my goodness, I love Crazy Taxi so much. Every time I went into Sears, I used to play this game. Soul Calibur, amazing fighting game. And I'm not even really into fighting games, but I remember playing my friend in this game and just having so much fun. 
Blue Stinger. Unfortunately, I haven't played this game. It came in a lot that um, I won off of eBay, but um, people say it's all right. Hydro Thunder, really cool, a lot of fun. Resident Evil, Cove Veronica. I love the Resident Evil series, so this was a must have for me. And Ready to Rumble Boxing. We all know about this. I also have Jack Ryan Radio, but for some reason I can't find the case. The disc was inside the Dreamcast, but I don't know where I put the case. Maybe I should get on that. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to share my love for the Sega Dreamcast. It was an amazing console. Unfortunately, it didn't live past the Sony push of the PlayStation 2. But for what it's worth, you know, any of you guys that are gamers out there, you should definitely at least try to find yourself a Dreamcast because there's some great games on the system. I personally don't have all the great games, but I'm looking forward to, of course, beefing up my collection and getting some of those games that actually put the, the Dreamcast over the top. I mean, this was a great console. Like I said, innovative, great graphics, amazing, so much fun, awesome memory unit. You name it, the Dreamcast had it. So, happy birthday, Sega Dreamcast. You were amazing while you lasted for the few years. You will never be forgotten, even though I didn't get you until a couple years ago. But you're still awesome.